Hussaini Munkailai, father of nine, earns a maximum of 2,000 naira daily from his tire repair business. In this report, Salim Ibrahim spent the entire day shadowing Hussaini as he struggles to feed himself and his family during the month of Ramadan, shedding light on the challenges faced by many Nigerians. Take a look. Living in a half-fenced, uncompleted building, he called a house, with no furniture and absolutely lacking a bit of social amenities. Useni Mukela looks very contented, though managing through life every day. This father of nine children and a wife is a vulcanizer who earns 1,500 naira to 2,000 naira per day, which is used to cater for the family, business, and other needs. At the time, the current hardship and increased level of poverty in Nigeria is continuing to bite harder on the common citizens, especially the less privileged and underprivileged members of the societies. The situation has checked in a larger population into the month of Ramadan. Muslim face polls as many struggle to get what to eat. The routine activity of Munkela and his family is a story of sadness, struggle, and a continuous striving for hope every day. As the sun rises welcoming a new day, Munkela wore his somewhat dirty uniform that he used for work. He pulls out his old worn-out bicycle and wind the pedals continuously until it kicks on. Then he lifts it up and goes outside, bidding his family farewell. He then proceeds to Mamaga area of Potoru along Medugur Road. This volcanizer is one among the 41 volcanizers doing business along Medugur Road between the Muhammad Buhari Interchange in Hotoru to the flyover just by Amin Kano Teaching Hospital. He arrives at his place of work usually around 10 a.m. to set up and then wait for vehicles and passers-by with faulty tires and those who will have to gauge their tires. It is only a matter of luck and God's divine intervention to get the desired number of customers in this kind of business. The business of balkanizing is mainly practiced by people who are tired, lacking in Western education and have little or no capital to start a more lucrative business that can fend for their needs and that of their families. Speaking about the business, Munkaila said it has not been easy despite the ever-challenging moment. This is how we usually come out. We didn't keep anything. We don't have anything. But what we, will, we, we, we are able to gather highest by 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., or maybe when we are about to close from work, we send the little we have home for them to do it, to to utilize it and do whatever maybe cook the little they can for the younger ones as for us whatever we have we got we eat if we didn't get we just leave it like that and be patient until we have at least the younger ones at home can get what to eat we are okay we are satisfied who are you going to complain to we don't have anywhere to go and complain and even at that we are even far better than some people others are looking up to us that we are more privileged than them with little he had for the day, that was not enough. Munkela could only send all back home to prepare something that will take them through the following day. Himself and his child, Abu Bakr, who is in his late 20s, have never gone back home to breakfast with the many members of their family because there was nothing to eat altogether. So, they rely on food packed in nylons, courtesy of a well-to-do individual to fill up their bellies. Barely an hour to break up fast, 
he conducts his ablution and proceeds to the nearby mosque and sits until the food is shared immediately after prayer. This is what they will only eat and perhaps keep some for other family members to also enjoy. Speaking shortly after he broke his fast, Munkela said it has always been like that for years. This is where I break my fast every day. Whatever we have, the little we get, we eat. The little one we were able to have to get from the business, we send home for them to also utilize and eat. That's just it. After that, around 8 to 9 p.m., we close and go home to rest for the following day. We always remain hopeful that the following day will be better than the previous one. It is before that we come out with the hope that we get something to eat and do other things. But now, it's just to feed ourselves, and that is challenging also. Once we get what to eat, we are satisfied, we thank God, and we close. The likes of Munkela are many in this part of the country, always struggling to make ends meet day in, day out. They go hand in hand with other artisan groups who must always earn to feed. However, this category of people still keep hope alive as they pray that tomorrow will be better than today. Salim Umar Ibrahim, reporting for Trust TV.